Hey guys, happy Valentine's Day. Yes, I am actually coming on Facebook Live today in my corset and leather pants. Um, and it's not why you think I am doing this. If you're going, what the hell, is she crazy? Is Roz crazy? Has she lost it? Uh, no. I want to come on to inspire you, especially you women who are scared of the word sexy. I know there are men who are too. And so I wanna come on and share what the heck is sex sexy actually? What does this word mean? So sexy is not about how you dress. Let's define what it's not. Uh, it's not only about how you dress. You know, you can think about, uh, it's not only about what you look like. It's not about what your body looks like, okay? These things can be part of sexy, but if it's not integrated from the inside to radiate out, it doesn't matter. So what sexy is, is it's a state of being. It's the energy you hold. It's about you being your most powerful tuned in self that you're so fucking comfortable with who you are you just start to attract those people who just love you because you just show up as you. And you're surrounded by like-minded, positive people. People who wanna go, oh my God, I love your energy. That's what sexy is. You can think about people who are, let's say, classically what our society would see as attractive, but you can, if you feel that they're insecure, they're anxious, they have these behaviors, and I'm, this isn't, I'm not judging anybody. I'm just stating what sexy is, okay? Um, they are egotistical, right? I mean, like how many, I'm sorry, men, but there are men out there in this world um, who walk around all macho and they've got all these muscles and yeah, yeah, look at me, you know? But there's not a lot of depth. And again, I'm not being judgmental, but it's hard to be around people like that because it doesn't feel real. There's something about them that doesn't feel real. It's like hard to relate with them. It's them talking about themselves all the time or their drama situation. Who the hell loves drama, right? You know, like that's not sexy. And then you think about people who are not classically what our society would see as sexy. And yet there's something so charismatic about them. There's something so delicious about their energy. You just want to drink them in. You just want to soak them in and be around them because their energy is contagious and infectious and it brings you joy just even hearing their voice, right? That's sexy. So sexy is a mindset, it's a state of being. And how do you get to the place where you can attract and magnetize the people you want in your life? If you're in a relationship that doesn't serve or support you, it's empty, it's unfulfilling, there's so much fucking drama in it, guess what? It starts with you. It starts with you, the inner work. It's because you're not owning your worth. You're not really diving in deeper to look at what are your core beliefs that are limiting you, that are holding you back from living the life that you want to be in, and that you want to be living in, to be the person and, and living in and getting all the desires and pleasures that you want. And pleasures come in connections. Pleasure comes in, in the way you feel about joy about your life, about your career, about your community. It's about you giving back, but you got to work on you first in order for you to show up and contribute. You know what? I'm all about doing my own inner work. I don't stop. I don't stop because I get inspired by my own shit, first of all, <laughs> and then I can inspire you guys, right? I learn from my own stuff because I'm human. And I love to share that in a way that serves and supports the world. That I can speak to somebody out here right now that goes, holy shit. Yeah, my life is not what I want it to be. Look at your results. Your results are what um, ref reflection of where your mindset is. 
if you're not getting the results you want, then you need to do the inner work. That's the only way. You can't fake your way through life. And it's exhausting to do that, people. Right? Who's with me? Like, give me some, like, fist bumps, you know, hearts. If you agree, it's exhausting not to be yourself. It's exhausting to people, please. It's exhausting to always say yes when you really mean no. It's exhausting to shrink yourself amongst a group of people because you don't want to outshine. It's exhausting to be in a place that isn't you. And wouldn't it be so incredible to be in a place, in a relationship, in connections, in a community of people who just freaking love you when you are just yourself? Like you can be silly as hell. You can say the silliest things. You don't have to worry about people thinking you're stupid. People thinking you're not that smart. People poo-pooing you. People... Right? Like, who? People rejecting you. You don't have to worry about that because you're around people who love the hell out of you. That doesn't mean there's doesn't have any conflicts. Of course there's conflicts. Right? In any healthy relationship, there's conflicts. Sexy is about being able to navigate confidently through conflicts, recognizing what's their shit, what's my shit, and how do we not let our shit collide? Having the ability to communicate so that you can communicate from a deep, authentic place. This is all so fucking possible only when you do your own work. When you do your own work, everything changes. When you change, everything changes for the better. All right, so I hope that this inspired you. Um, I actually tell my clients this. I have lingerie days in my house. Um, um, I'm, I'm usually, this is my first time ever on a Facebook live with lingerie, but it's kind of fun. Um, I love me and I love embracing my inner sexiness and my outer sexiness. I love wearing lingerie. I think it's super comfortable and it makes me feel even sexier. So there are days where I will just literally lounge around. No one else is around. My husband isn't here, but he probably should be. Um, my kids aren't here. <laughs> and I literally just have a, a half a day, full day, depending on if I see clients or not, obviously I'm going to be appropriate, um, to just lounge around in lingerie. It makes me feel really sexy. And I'm not saying you have to, but this is about remembering bringing in your sexy in whatever way that looks like. Because let's face it, people say, well, I, don't, I feel comfortable in sweatpants. Um... You know what? What would happen if you just kind of put on something that don't you feel sexier when, I mean, you could feel sexy in sweatpants, right? Because sexy is really on the inside, but perhaps experiment with dressing up a little bit for yourself, for yourself first and foremost. What would happen? I know that I love going through my morning routine of curling my hair, putting makeup on, and it's not because I care too much about what other people think anymore, Okay. It's like a ritual. I love listening to my podcast. I love just like washing my face and going through my routine with my Arbonne products. I love curling my hair because it's just this nice grounding ritual as I'm listening to podcasts um, or sacred music, whatever it is, or pump me up music. But it just, I'm loving me first. I'm responding to me first for the day you know, getting up, working out. Some of you might see my Facebook live this morning. I do things that take care of me so that I can take care of others today. So I hope that this inspires you. I hope you do the same. Tell me what your takeaway is today. Thanks guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Have a sexy day.